Hey guys, there is no doubt whatsoever that AI has absolutely transformed the processes and workflows of raw photo editing. It wasn't that long ago, probably only in fact about 18 months, two years ago, that we were all fiddling around with these incredibly convoluted masks when we wanted to do some specific editors to a portion of an image such as the sky. But now, thanks to AI, we have these incredibly advanced masking tools, such as the ones you find in Adobe Lightroom CC, which enable you to instantly and perfectly select areas of photograph. These AI tools have made things like sky replacement incredibly easy. But simply because you can do something doesn't necessarily mean that you should. And I think we should try and avoid doing things like complete sky replacements whenever possible. If you're a real estate photographer, of course, I'm not talking about that. It's perfectly fine to swap out the sky on that. And the sky replacement tools are incredibly useful in that regard. But I'm talking about landscape photography, where we try to keep things as authentic as possible. So in this video, I'm going to put the case for keeping your sky. And I'm going to show you a little technique that can recover the detail from the sky without having to go the whole hog and switch out the whole bloody thing. Anyway, enough preamble. Let's get in the Lightroom and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here's a photo we're going to look at today, and if ever there was a candidate for a sky swap, it's probably this one. It's taken a course in Paris at Montmartre, and I wanted to have the buildings nicely lit, which is why I exposed the photograph like this. And But we have got these kind of washed out skies. But we're not going to swap out the skies, we're going to bring back the detail. And the main tool we're going to do to use that is dehaze. So firstly, of course, I do need to mask off the sky and we're going to create a little sky mask using the built-in Adobe Lightroom masking tool here. But firstly, let's apply a bit of dehaze and we will see some detail start to reappear in that sky because we've masked it all off nicely. It's not impacting the buildings. Don't want to go too crazy here. Subtlety is the key. Next thing we're going to do is bring the white point up slightly just to make those clouds look a little bit purer. And to add some much needed contrast, we're going to also drop the black point. As you can see, it's already looking a lot better, but it's looking a bit kind of green here. And the fix for this is pretty simple. We're going to cool the sky off and look what happens as soon as we do that now the final thing i do on this is to use the vibrance tool to add a little bit of saturation to the least saturated pixels in that sky mask so i'm going to bring this vibrance up very slightly got to keep it real guys if you go too far with these sliders you stray into instagram territory and we don't want to do that so let's see what we have 38 here that's looking pretty nice. Let's take a snapshot and I'll show you the before and after. Here is where we began a moment ago with this very kind of washed out, bland looking sky. As I said, a great candidate for the old sky replacement. But with just a few very simple tweaks, we've managed to pull out the natural sky detail. And the resulting image as a whole is way more natural looking than it ever would with any sky replacement. So there you go, guys. That's my suggestion for keeping it a little bit more honest with the old Lightroom landscape photo edits. If you have got a blown out sky, just look with the old dehay slider, see if there's some detail lurking in there. You'll probably be surprised. Raw photos contain a huge amount of data which you can get access to with something like Lightroom. And it's far preferable to use the actual pixels from your photograph than going for that nuclear option and just completely replacing the sky. Do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it the old like down below and consider subscribing to my channel for more photo, video and drone related content from yours truly. Until the next time, guys. 
Tchau, tchau.